We're going to look at University of Birmingham today. University of Birmingham is one of the leading universities in the United Kingdom. Our last video, we actually looked at University of Toronto, and especially for the students that are going to go to Canada. If you haven't watched the video, you can have a link above over here. Just click that and you can give that a watch. But today we're going to look at University of Birmingham. And I've already done um, an overview of how you can actually apply to the UK and what are the requirements and everything. And if you haven't watched that video, look in the description below or click on the link over here and you can go to that video and you can check that out as well. So University of Birmingham, a lot of students right now who are uh, abroad and are thinking of actually studying undergrad or postgrad um, in the UK, one of their main choices is University of Birmingham. And one of the main reasons behind why this choice is very important is the fact that whenever you are in a uh, capital city, a big city, a main city, there's a lot of opportunities for you over there that you can avail from, especially from a jobs perspective after you're done or before or during uh, you're doing when you're doing your course. So if you're in London, that's perfect. But London's um, living expenses is quite high compared to Birmingham. Birmingham living expenses is a little bit more reasonable. And the University of Birmingham is actually a really good university to apply to. So without further ado, let's give that a start and see how you can apply to the University of Birmingham. University of Birmingham over here, as you can see, um, if you go to Google and you open Google, you can see University of Birmingham. Uh, that I've already typed up right now for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and over here, as you can see, it's the apply to leading the one of the leading universities. We're really going to do that. We're going to actually go to their main website. When you open their main website, and I really love this about University of Birmingham, their website is really easy to navigate from. And one of the main things that I really want to tell you guys about is the fact that they actually have a campus in Dubai. So they actually have a full campus where you can do an undergrad degree in Dubai and a lot of students that are in, in, in the Middle East, they opt for Dubai and they actually do their two years in Dubai and then they can transfer their credits to the UK, to the main university and come to the UK and actually do and finish their undergrads from there. But the degree, even if you're in Dubai and you do the degree from there, uh, the, the standing is going to be the same. So if you're in Dubai, you can click on the Dubai one, but we're going to focus on the UK one to people who are going to go study in the UK. So as you can see over here, they have an undergrad open date. And this is a lot of universities right now, especially in the COVID time. What they've done is that they have a virtual uh, open day where you can go through the university and see the university and how everything uh, is over there but they actually have an open day that is uh, there's a physical you can go and check it out so if you're in the uk and applying to birmingham university you can actually go and register yourself for an open day and actually go and um, check the university out it's a really beautiful university they have a campus all around Birmingham and um, they have different schools and it's really worth uh, looking into. Now, if we're gonna go to study over here for students that are gonna go for undergrad, and it's very straightforward, study at, the, at Birmingham Challenging Inquiring Minds, uh, at Birmingham encourage bold independent thinking and offer the highest quality academics experience to stretch and challenge you. Um, this is a short description they've done and this is the best thing that they actually have put through. They have an undergrad study program, they have a post, graduate taught program and they have a postgraduate research program so basically there's, there's a slight difference there are some postgraduate degrees where you actually have to have physical um, classes where you go in and you study and then there are others that is that are research based so the research based one is something that you can actually do remotely as well if that option is available um, especially during covid that is something that I could look into they have a lot of short courses um, for professionals that are looking to enhance their um, their degrees to get a new skill uh, that is something really good as well for them that can look into but we're going to focus on undergrad today so they have over 350 different courses that you can actually um, study in the University of Birmingham and uh, we're going to click on the undergrad uh, study program and this is this most beautiful thing so uh, they have clearing and adjustments um, for UK students, you can register over here and for international students, you can apply over here. There's two methods that you can for international students that can apply. You can apply through the UCAS, which I've explained uh, before in one of, one of my videos. You can give that a, a look at. You can actually apply directly as well. But directly, you don't have that a lot, a lot of options. UCAS, you can select different universities and go through that. If you have any questions how to apply or you're having issues applying through UCAS, do let me know in the comment section below uh, either or let me 
know on WhatsApp and I'll try to help you out. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and do not forget to pel press the bell icon so you are notified whenever a new video of mine actually comes up. So moving on, undergraduate uh, studies over here. So now, as you can see, you can search for your perfect course. We're gonna go for business and uh, let's search business and see what actually comes up. Um, you have different courses in business. You have business management, a BSc in business management. You have a BSc in business in Dubai. They offer that course in Dubai as well. It's a single honors. Um, they have a uh, undergraduate foundation. Now, there is two things that I really need you guys to understand. Students that are doing A-levels uh, and students who have not done their A-levels, have done their AS only or have done their IGCSCs or GCSCs. You can actually apply after your AS on a foundation course and the foundation is course, uh, courses for one year. You complete one year. After that, you do a HND, a higher national diploma, which is for two years. After you finish your higher national diploma, you can automatically go into a bachelor degree, which is only for one year, and then you can complete that. So a lot of students say that, you know, we don't want to do our A-levels. We've done our AS. I think we have a good grip on the subject. Instead of doing our A-levels, we're going to go do through the foundation year. We're going to do our H&D, and then we're going to do our business. The time duration is going to be the exact same. And for students who have done their A-levels but have not gone under the required grades to get onto a bachelor's degree, they can actually go ahead and do an HND, a higher national diploma, for two years, and then do one year of their bachelor's and complete their undergrad degree in the same amount of time in three years' time, where their undergraduate is actually for one year. And that is actually not mentioned. A lot of questions that comes out is that mentioned on that degree that you receive. It is not mentioned. It is as if you have done a bachelor's degree in a normal procedure way. So this is something that you need to be very uh, clear with. There are uh, major and minor combined, as you can see over here with chemistry and business uh, in their BSCs. You have business and communication. Um, there's a lot of variety that the uh, person has. And I think um, I'm not going to go into career counseling, uh, even though that's something that we do do um, uh, privately with students. So if you will have questions on what course you actually want to select, you can let me know. I'll help you through that. So let's go and click with the first, the basic one, a BSc, a single uh, undergrad, single honors, BSc in business management. Um, it's very clear. It starts in September. It is a three years course. Um, the UCAS code, code is N200. That is what you have to put when you're applying on UCAS. Um, the course type is an undergrad single honors. And the fee for the UK students is £9,250 per year. That's not a three-year course. That is something that you have to pay per year. And for international students, it is £21,240. And you have to pay that every single year. So this is for 21 and 22. So you will pay that every single year. And that's going to round about a 60,000 uh, pounds only as tuition fee. Um, uh, you can click the I am likely to receive an offer. They give you information regarding that. You can look, check up the apply now if you're doing it directly. But I suggest for international students to go through, do it through UCAS. Now the course details, the entry requirements, teaching assessment, employability. I'm going to go through that to give you an idea what those things are. So basically the course details, uh, when you look at it, is um, uh, you will be actually studying um, these particular modules over here in the first year, you're going to look at the core modules, which are the basic models that you have to do is digital business, management, education, learning, aid, manage, uh, management, education, learning. B. You can select from that widening business horizon, introduction to marketing and communication, managing financial resources, organizations, management, entrepreneurship. And after that, you can actually take one module of economics for business A or for business B, and you can select that. And then in your second year, you will do research methods and responsible business theory and practice. And then you get more options to actually select from in semester one uh, of where you wanna take your degree to. And this is a really important time. And I think this is a time where you sit with your professors and you actually have a talk with them and see where you're headed. But you have to be very clear with where you wanna take your degree and what uh, business area you wanna target. So this is something um, you can actually, you know, click through. For example, I can, you have an option, let's say, take management, accounting, and accountability. You click on that um, uh, module and um, it opens up and it gives you a detail 
uh, of exactly how much credit it's for, who's teaching it, what code it is. It's in the Birmingham uh, Business School, which is one of the leading business schools in the United Kingdom, which is absolutely brilliant. It gives you the content, it gives you the learning outcomes. You know exactly um, what you're um, gonna go into and what is required of you. And the assessment obviously for this is a 50% is based on coursework, which is 2000 words, that is an assignment. And 50% is a two hour examination. And um, uh, reassessment obviously in case something happens, a three hour unseen exam, which is 100% in case you fail either one of them. So that is something obviously which comes uh, separately, but that is literally you have a very clear of uh, what description, what requirements you are. So I think whenever you're applying for whatever course you're gonna do, it's very important that you look at what that course actually uh, actually has and does that really you know, get in line with what you wanna do and do you have the ability to go ahead and do it? Um, that is really, really important. So uh, moving back over here, uh, yes. So this is the first year, second year, and the third year. Now the third year is basically where you do a dissertation, which is for 40 credits, or you can do an extended essay for 20 cre cre credits. Um, and this is one of, you have to do a dissertation. A lot of time, the dissertation is the main requirement for whatever uh, you're doing. And that is done in the second semester that you have a full second semester in which you do in the first semester. Obviously, uh, you have to take um, some choices that they're giving you or hair, and then you go through that in your second semester. So um, looking at the fees. Now the fees, as I said, is a um, 21,240 pounds for um, full-time students and 9,250 pounds for uh, UK students. Now, this is the most important thing that I wanted to tell you guys about is the scholarships. A lot of people ask me this questions and I want to make it really clear to everyone that if you don't ask, you do not get. So there is no harm in asking for a scholarship if you um, have, are having issues with the finance. Universities do give you scholarships to a certain level. They give you 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, sometimes even 100% scholarship, depending on what your grades are, what co-curricular activities you've been doing, what extra activities you've been doing, what sort of proposal, what personal statement that you've sent in, how motivated you are to actually do the course, and what can you bring to the universities others can't. All of those things are taken into consideration, and on that base, you're given a scholarship or not given a scholarship. So if you actually want us to go through the proposal, feel free to drop me a message either on the comment section below or either on our WhatsApp or on our Facebook. And let me know if you want me to read through your um, uh, personal statement and give you an assessment if it's good or not or what change needs to be done. Again, everyone that's asked me, these are free of charge. I do not charge anything for uh, any of these uh, f uh, facilities that I'm offering. Um, this is just to help you guys to get to a good university and do a good degree and actually be a productive and positive part of society. So if I can help you anyway, do let me know. And if there's any other university that you think I should go over, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll give that in consideration next time to go over through them. Now, one of the major things that people tend to ask me about is accommodation. Now, accommodation for Birmingham University, they have their own accommodations, uh, which you can apply for. Other than that, they have accommodation which are verified by the universities which are outside uh, their um, areas so there are different people who are landlords they actually connect with their university and they get their accommodation approved by them and their rent is actually fixed is lower than actually the ones that you find normally from searching online so I suggest if you're not planning to live on the accommodation of the university but you want to live outside with your friends uh, in a house or in a flat I would highly recommend you speak with the accommodation office and get those lists from them and only live in those places. It will be a lot, lot cheaper and more beneficial for you. And try either in your first year um, to live near the university because you're going to be spending a lot of time at the university. But as you find a job and you know things uh, get a little bit more smooth lined, um, I think in the second year you can move near to where you work so you won't have to commute too much from there. And your third year definitely should be near where you're working because you're gonna spend a lot more time at home working your dissertation and working and making, you know, making sure you can pay the bills. Um, so that's around about it. Um, they offer master courses, they offer PhDs, they offer um, a lot of uh, short courses, like I mentioned before. I've shown you the website, you can go through the website, it's a lot easier to navigate. If you're having any issues with the navigation of the university's website, do let me know. I will go through it with you. 
I will help you individually to find out um, uh, how and what you can select. If you're applying to Dubai, do let me know um, if I can assist you in any way or there. Again, in that, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. And uh, don't forget to share the video. Until the next video, take care. Allah Hafiz.